Hi everyone, this is Dr. B from BruceDarlingtonGuitar.com. Hope everyone's doing really well. I'm doing fine. I'm just going to do this little short video, not too long, a um, little bit ranty on my part, but no one's forcing you to watch it, so feel free. If you'd like to click the subscribe button, helps me to make more content, um, get some more motivation, that kind of stuff, it's all good. So I want to talk today about the secret of playing guitar. Now, um, you can probably guess from my tone, I'm not hugely sold on this idea, but if I go on YouTube and I type in guitar and secret, what comes up? Blowing the lid on the biggest guitar secret. It's number one. This is the secret to learning guitar, period. Number two, I mean, it's sounding great so far. The secret to staying relaxed when you play guitar fast. Three jazz secrets you must know. Now, I, I think I'm not going to carry on. I think you get the idea. There's plenty of stuff out there that's claiming to be the secret to playing guitar or the secret to singing or the secret to music or whatever. Let's just recontextualize it. If you were playing the lottery, or I think America has like the Powerball, Europe's got the Euro lottery. If you're playing that and you saw a video that said guaranteed method to win the lottery every time you play, would you click on it? I mean, really? Would you click on it? Because you're pretty stupid if you're going to click on that. Because if someone knows how to win it every week, why would they be telling you about it? They just win it every week. Global news stories, this guy wins again. 300 weeks of winning this, this guy, every lottery he wins, being banned from all these lotteries, twice as rich as Elon Musk, all that kind of thing. So you just think it through. And it's the same with this stuff with the secret of, of playing, or the secret of music or secret of singing or whatever you want to have the secret of. There are no secrets. Everything's out there. Everything's available. Music theory is what music theory is. Playing is what playing is. And it all comes down to a couple of things, really, is one, do the work. Just do years and years of the work. Look at someone like, take a really extreme example. Look at someone like Guthrie Govan. He was not a normal strumming away ACDC guitar player and then someone bestowed the secret on him and, and he woke up the next day as the Guthrie Govan you see now. That's decades of really hard, dedicated practice. Now, there are tips and hints and, and ways to avoid blind alleys and all that cuffs, absolutely for sure. And that's why you go to a decent teacher. But you don't go to someone that says, I know the secret. You know, what, what's this, what does that mean? Okay, so that's one side of it. The second side of it, if it's a secret and it makes you this amazing guitar player, why, why are you sharing it? Just altruism. Oh, no way. It's clickbait, isn't it? To get you onto the YouTube channel to get you to go on there and they get views and all that kind of thing. So there is no secret of guitar playing. What you have to do is do the work and contextualize it for yourself. Now that's really important. So let's, let's broaden it out a tiny bit. And let's say that thing with the secret to jazz guitar. A lot of people, a lot of students come to me and they go, oh, I want to learn some jazz stuff. I want to add some jazz to my blues playing. And you go, great, like who? Who are you really into? Who do you listen to? Oh, I listen to Stevie Ray Vaughan. You okay? No jazz there. I listen to Joe Bonamassa. Okay, there's no jazz there. Listen to BB King. Okay, no jazz there. Um, who are you listening to that you want to sound like? Who who do you want to play like? Who's your ideal? Where you listen back to your own playing and you go, yeah, that's real. I can hear influences from this, 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 and this. Well, I, I just want to add some jazz to it. You know, why? Oh, because jazz is dead clever. So what? Everything's dead clever. Everything's the same. Jazz theory is just jazz theory. The reason jazz guys are great at jazz is that they do jazz all day long, all the time. The reason rock guys are great at rock is they do rock all day long, all the time. You know, there isn't a secret that, that lets you transcend boundaries and be amazing. You know, George Benson, phenomenal at jazz, would suck in Metallica. You know, it's, it's just, it doesn't work as, as a thing, as a way of thinking. So you've got to contextualize for yourself and then you've got to get your level right. So by your level, I mean these phenomenal players that we always mention, and they are phenomenal. They're complete outliers statistically. People like George Benson or Guthrie Govan or Frank Gambali or whoever you want to mention of that level. And people want to learn things from them. 
Yeah, well, you can't really learn much from them because you're nowhere near them. You're absolutely nowhere near their level. So the only things that you can learn from them are things that you can learn from the guitar teacher down the road because they've got the same things to say. It's the same music theory. It's the same way of putting your hands on the instrument. That's what they've got to tell you. When you get to a very high level, yeah, they've got things to tell you. Yeah, they've got little subtleties and layers and intricacies and stuff to talk about, but not a, not a, a beginner to intermediate level, even low advanced, you know? Let's recontextualize it again. I do a lot of martial arts. When you turn up to, people are obsessed with, with going to see the highest level guy they can. So they want to go and do a seminar with an eighth dan. And you go, wow, okay, are you like a seventh dan or a sixth dan then? And they go, no, no, I've been doing it a year. What's the point? You're not going to get anything apart from the interest of watching someone that good, which I'm not knocking. That's incredible. Just watching a performance, fine. Going to a seminar, though, or a masterclass or watching a video of instruction would imply you're going to get something from it. And you're really not because their level is so high. It's incredibly difficult to see what they're doing that makes them better than everybody else. So with regards to this crap of the secret of playing, the secret of improvisation, there aren't any. I'm sorry, there really aren't any. I know I'm going to get just so much hate. Oh, he's ranting. And I had some great comments lately. Oh, all you do is talk about yourself. My channel. Don't, don't come to my channel if you, if you don't want to hear me talk about stuff that bothers me and stuff that I want to do and all that. Maybe you sh they should send in a list of things. Oh, this is what you must talk about this week, Bruce. Get lost. So if you're looking for the secret of playing, the best thing I can possibly tell you to do is go and pick your instrument up now and play it. Unless it's piano, don't pick it up. Just sit down at it, you know, a harp or something. But if it's your guitar, pick it up, play something. Play something that you want to play. Learn something that you want to play and you'll be a little tiny step closer to getting to where you want to be. So anyway, that's my two cents worth for today. Um, if you want to click the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. If you don't, fine, no problem. Um, I will see you next time. Take care, guys.